Hey guys, uh, it's Anthony from here, uh, DIY Auto Tech. We've got a Ruger SP-101 on the bench, and I just want to show you something here. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but uh, it looks like I'm getting a little bit of top strap erosion, and I'd like to get a little uh, a little feedback from some of you guys who are a little more professional with firearms than I am. As you can see, over in this area, back here, um, the metal is just a normal finish, and then it gets really smooth right here, right in this area. Gets real smooth, as if uh, the top strap has been uh, getting some flame cutting done to it. I don't know if that's too bright or not. You can see the difference in the metal. Get a different angle. Don't know if you can see that. Again, the Ruger SP101. This looks like uh, flame cutting to me. But again, if I can get some reviews from you guys, let me know what you think about that. Let's turn it straight up. Kind of tell a little bit that it's actually taken a small groove out the top. Let's turn the camera this way so it's not blind. As you can tell, Let me know what you think. Um, I would appreciate it. It looks like some uh, flame cutting to me. Let's close the cylinder. It is unloaded, obviously. Check this before I started the video. Put it towards the light. <sighs> Pulling the cylinder back a little bit just to so maybe there's too much play there in between the cylinder and the forcing cone. Um, it doesn't feel like there's any movement. I mean, obviously you get the you get end shake a little bit, side wobble, but that's normal for a floating cylinder. But uh, this rearward um, movement, I'm not sure about. So let me know what you guys think. Ruger SP 101, 357 Max.